For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 897 as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 897, a bill to take certain lands in California into trust for the benefit of the Agua Caliente Band of Coahuila Indians and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Ledger Fernandez, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each can, will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. H.R. 897 will take approximately 2,560 acres of specified lands in California into trust for the Agua Caliente Band of Cahuila Indians and make these lands part of the Agua Caliente Indian Reservation. The Agua Caliente Band of Cahuila Indians is indigenous to the desert and canyons of what we now call the Coachella Valley. I was just there, Madam Speaker, and it is beautiful, and the manner in which the Agua Caliente Band takes care of the land and works with their community is superb and should be recognized um, for, for their ability to have that government-to-government -government relationship with their neighbors. The Agua Caliente Indian Reservation was established in 1876 with their ancestral lands located in the greater Palm Springs area. Over the centuries, the lands traditionally held by the Agua Caliente were divided by parcels owned by the tribe, federal government, and private entities. The divided plots of land led to a checkerboarded formation of ownership. The tribe has been involved in land transfers with the federal government to consolidate their traditional lands and reclaim certain culturally significant areas throughout the years. In 1999, the tribe assisted in preserving the cultural resources surrounding the Santa Rosa and the San Jacinto Mountains National Monument and supported legislation for its recognition. The National Monument legislation included a land exchange of remote wilderness located within the National Monument. Although the legislation establishing the National Monument passed, it did not expressly state the status of any land transferred to the tribe through the land exchange. The lack of explicit language about the status of land led to the Bureau of Land Management and the tribe working for at least 17 years to finalize a binding exchange agreement for the 2,560 acres addressed in this bill. This bill improves land management by the tribe and the Bureau of Land Management by consolidating the checkerboard land ownership around the tribe's reservation by placing these lands into trust. Concerns regarding public access to trails have been addressed. The tribe has a long history of maintaining public trails within the monument boundary. I urge anybody who's in the area to go take a hike on the trails. They are beautiful. The land was within a remote wilderness area and will be managed similarly to how the Bureau of Land Management oversaw the land. In a good forth effort to support the conservation efforts of the binding exchange agreement, the tribe included, included a gaming prohibition for the lands in HR 897. I would like to thank Dr. Uh, Raul Ruiz for his sponsorship of this bill and his hard work on getting it to this point. I urge the swift adoption of HR 897 and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. H.R. 897, the Agua Caliente Exchange Fee to Trust Confirmation Act, would place approximately 2,560 acres of land owned by the Agua Caliente tribe within their reservation into trust. And I will agree with the gentlelady from New Mexico. I visited this area, and it is a beautiful area. The uh, Agua Caliente Band of Coahuila Indians Reservation is located approximately 100 miles southeast of Los Angeles in and around Palm Springs, California with nearly 11,000 acres of the reservation within the city limits of Palm Springs. Originally established in 1876 by President Grant, the tribe's reservation only encompassed one and a half acres. Today, the reservation is approximately 31,000 acres. The lands in question were acquired through a land exchange with the Bureau of Land Management in 2018, pursuant to the Santa Rosa and the San Jacinto Mountains National Monument Act of 2000. H.R. 897 would allow the Bureau of Land Management exchange lands owned by the tribe to be taken into trust 
and made part of the tribe's reservation. Gaming pursuant to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act would be prohibited. The tribe intends to use the land for conservation purposes. According to the tribe, the Santa Rosa and San Jacinto Mountains hold strong cultural and historical value to the tribe. I appreciate the work of the tribe and the bill sponsor to advance this legislation. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I reserve the balance of my time, and I will say I have no further speakers. The gentleman reserves. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. I have no further request for time, and uh, I would ask whether my colleague would uh, have any other speakers or have any other remarks. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I have no other speakers, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas yields back the balance of his time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support the legislation, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico yields back the balance of her time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 897 as amended? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. All those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion, the gentleman... Mr. Speaker, I request a recorded vote. Uh, pursuant to Section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings are postponed.